This video will review how to submit a specimen to Michigan Medicine Laboratories and the appropriate specimen collection using a sterile nasopharyngeal swab for a patient with or under investigation for COVID-19. The materials needed for specimen collection are an MLABS requisition, specimen label, sterile nasopharyngeal swab, M4 viral transport media, or phosphate buffered saline with a pH of 7.4, gloves, appropriate PPE, and a biohazard bag. Prior to performing the procedure, check all of your supplies. It is recommended to only have materials for one patient at your collection station at a time. You may be submitting a patient specimen from a kit provided by Michigan Medicine Laboratories. The MLabs kit contains all of the materials that you need, including a patient brochure. Giving the patient their brochure while you are getting set up gives the patient information about the procedure and their next steps. If you are using materials that you have on hand already, it is important to check that your materials are able to be tested within our laboratory. MLab's Microbiology Laboratory has validated the test and demonstrated accuracy with several swab types and various types of transport media. If you are not using a kit provided by MLabs, please contact client services to confirm that the supplies you have available have been validated with our testing platform prior to specimen collection to ensure the test can be performed. Prior to collecting the specimen, an MLabs requisition or order needs to be completed. All specimens should be accompanied by a completed MLabs requisition type that specifies your unique client and ward codes. Depending on your client location, you may submit a manual requisition, MLabs Connect requisition, or MLabs Connect batch sheet for bi-directional clients. It is important that both the requisition or order and the specimen label are completed with matching patient identifiers. The requisition and specimen label should include the first and last names of the patient and a second identifier, such as the patient's date of birth, or medical record number. After donning the appropriate PPE and explaining the collection procedure, have the patient blow their nose to clear any secretions because secretions could make it difficult to collect the epithelial cells. Begin by positioning the patient for comfort and to facilitate safe specimen collection for the swab. The patient can be placed into a sitting position or can lay down with the head tilted at about 30 degrees to open the airway. Check the patient's nasal pathway to ensure there are no obstructions, such as a deviated septum. Bend the sterile swab while it is still in the package to inspect its durability. The distance from the front of the nostril to the back of the nose in the nasopharynx is approximately 7 centimeters. This is mimicked by the distance from the tip of the swab to the handle. The notch of the swab is referred to as the break point, and it is used for placing the swab into the vial. To collect the specimen, hold the swab loosely between your thumb and forefinger, with the shaft resting on your middle finger. Holding the swab gently will reduce force within the nasal pathway and reduce the risk of injury to the patient. Before inserting the swab, ensure the patient's head is slightly tilted. If the patient needs assistance, you can gently place your hand on the back of the patient's head. Insert the swab into the nostril, straight back in the direction of the earlobe. Avoid inserting the swab upwards, as there should be no bending of the swab. Instead, the swab should travel along the floor of the nasal pathway, reaching the breakpoint of the swab to the nostril. Once resistance is felt at the nasopharynx, rotate the swab several times on the nasopharyngeal membrane to allow adequate collection of epithelial cells. A minimum of three full twists is recommended. Now that you have collected the specimen, place the swab into the container with the transport medium. The media is likely to be M4 viral transport media or phosphate buffered saline. 
open the cap of the container and insert the swab into the media. Break off the end of the swab to enable the cap to be securely fastened to the container. Label the specimen by placing the label just under the cap to allow the laboratory visibility to the media in the bottom of the tube. Place the labeled specimen into the biohazard bag and place the requisition into the side sleeve of the biohazard bag with the patient identifying information facing inward to maintain patient confidentiality. Securely seal the biohazard bag. If you are submitting a batch sheet for your specimen, include the batch sheet with the specimens. Appropriately dispose of waste and PPE and store the specimen refrigerated. Place the specimen in your designated courier specimen pickup location or contact MLab's client services to schedule a specimen pickup for questions or additional details regarding collection, transport, and testing procedures please contact MLab's client services.